Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. So, I'm at Jamaica Plain. Um, now, I have actually built it here already before. However, um, that was obviously in my previous playthrough. And in this one, this happens to be my Mercer safe house. As you can see, I've got Pam 2.0 walking around. So I thought to myself that it'd be really good to maybe do a video using the newer pieces as well on how to actually fix the house um, in Jamaica Plain. So it'll be quite a simple video. There's nothing really fancy in terms of aesthetically how the build works. Um, but basically, since I built in Jamaica Plain last time, obviously this was, I think, pre-automatron, to be honest. Um, so I really didn't have access to anything new. Um, and it's quite a simple technique and function to do. As you can see at the start, what I did is um, I demonstrate the height that basically with the... Well, the warehouse from the Contraptions DLC or the barns from Far Harbor, basically you can actually, they're more or less exactly the same height as the the walls and the floor. Now, I do have a little bit of fucking around with this, um, but I do get it in perfectly. It, it, it does work out perfectly as well. Um, the one issue you're going to have with this, which I think, I remember it putting me off originally, was the fact is that you have to kind of move bits out and you can't actually rug glitch the entire well um so to say pillar glitch the entire structure in um but the good thing is is once you've gotten the main part in actually just kind of plopping the floors in is is relatively straightforward this actually worked really well um so i'm just popping upstairs just to kind of show you also yeah and it's just kind of reinforced with this um it's probably a good idea just to take out all of the player um anything you can store um, anything you can scrap, I wouldn't worry about, but anything you can store, I'd recommend just taking it out so it doesn't interfere um, with you placing the items down. But what I do right here is, um, bear in mind, while I'm doing this, this is me <laughs> doing it potentially a little bit for the first time. So obviously I do realise my mistake early on, but I just thought I'd show you my thought process um, with this. Because it helps, it helps you guys to understand why things aren't working. I have that a lot of my builds where I kind of figure out something pretty swiftly but other people are kind of doing the same thing but maybe not exactly so you can see right here the height as well you can see just where you've got the door from you can see the ceilings is at are actually perfect so it's obviously going red and it's not placing the reason being is i have to actually take off most of the floors at the top not all of them but the ones at the far edge and um, the good thing is is then we can just snap them in as you see i just pop 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 pops so we're just leaving those two in and this basically works perfectly now and we can actually slap i believe we snap two of them in and we can just use the pillar glitch to get the others in and with the exception of one which is a slight millimeter or two low or high um it almost works perfectly so you can see here just lining up lining up i actually used marked it to the end first and i'm holding x now Get it nice and perfect. It's a little bit too far to the right. But because I'm one of those people, I'd rather fix something. Because I'm going to add texture to that wall anyway. So it doesn't bother me too much. Um, plus when I put the floor in, it's already a little bit too long anyway. So I can just stick this one. Not here. That one, the reason why, obviously because it's too close to the wall. But it's fine. I can snap it there. And there, so it's all grand. There is a little bit, um, I don't actually show you how to do this in the video, I completely forgot. Um, but as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap. You see it briefly in a sec, you saw it briefly a second ago, from where the floor is to the wall. Um, just that that's the only gap. I just used the black rubber rugs and then put, um, a reverse junk fence over the top. So it just, it basically just can't really see the hole. Because it's not really big enough to kind of make it so you need to really put an actual feature in. Um, with this part I'm doing right here... Um, I had a little bit of a fiddly session with this. <laughs> um, basically, I'm raising these up as high as I can get them, and then I'm putting the pillar underneath. Um, you have to have them of a certain height, or the pillar will try and snap to the top. This basically allows me... You'll see in a second, this works so well. In we go. In. Perfect. This one floor here is a slightly... As you can see, it's slightly, when I get it in, a little bit lower... But it's so insubstantial. And because what I'm doing... Um, so in this video, I only fix this part. Um, the reason being, because actually building this house is going to be a video in itself. Um, and I am going to do one soonish as well. So don't worry about that. Um, but this is just kind of fixing the house. Because you can kind of do whatever you want with the top. Um, so this is me just literally showing you how to kind of fix this in... What I personally think is the most aesthetically pleasing way possible. Um, as you can see, it's just... It's really straightforward and it just works, which makes me quite happy. 
Um, you couldn't do this as well. When I first... I can't remember how I did it the first time. I think with much screaming. Because um, the only walls we had when I first did this, back in my day, um, of probably January, <laughs> um, was uh, the normal size walls. Like, the, you know, the normal... I think I used the, con the corrugated steel ones. So they were just like half again too small and it was just an absolute nightmare so this reason i'm doing this is because i just need to kind of get it as beep. i need to raise the pillar down a little bit so that i can raise the pillar up a wee bit more there we go all perfect this one actually fits in perfectly as you'll see it's actually exactly the right height for whatever reason just one of the floors was being a bit temperamental and as you can see like when i tried to put these in originally at uh, like, collectively, they wouldn't glitch in. But once I put the other floors in, and then just glitched these ones individually, it worked perfectly. So there we go. That's that part. Then we're just going to tidy up the outside a little bit and add a little doorway. This all worked quite well. Now, initially, my plan with that little lip there... I'm just going to show you at the top as well. All very grand. You see, I've got that little gap there. Um, I forgot to show you. But basically, it was very simple. I just put rubber rugs over it. Because they're black, and they look really puffy. They just blend in, and then you can see a reversed... Um, a reversed fence but it wasn't really anything fancy so i didn't bother showing you plus i forgot um so yeah now with this part so it's it, now it's just pretty much just decorate like that in essence is the hardest part um and yeah you, you can turn off you're there if you like because you've seen the part that's probably been giving you the headache um but it just works really well the only issue i've got with jamaica plane is there's that big pile of rubble um on the inside which did annoy me a little bit because i can't really because i have mods obviously um, so I can't, yeah, just there. I can't really get rid of it, so I don't really know. I mean, what I did before, and I don't want to do this. I've already got a vague plan for it, is I actually used a foundation. Uh, to actually kind of cover it up, so there was like a raised storage area, and that's possibly what I might do. I might also just glitch an entire generator in there or something like that. I'm, I'm umming and ahhing maybe some computer panels. So this part here, I'm just adding a bit of texture. Probably gonna, I am going to probably do a lot more texture. I didn't want to overly complicate this because I wanted to be quite a reasonably swift and concise video on how to actually just kind of sort this house. Because once you've sorted this part out, now that that house is fixed, that part of the house is fixed rather, suddenly it's like, oh, Jamaica Plains, a viable settlement that doesn't look like it's falling apart. Um, so it's pretty cool. So you can see... That all we're doing is just adding this reversed wall. Um, I like my reverse junk fences. I mean, we all, we've all established this. The reason why I like them is because they look scrappy, but also, obviously, because the, the supports are pushing against. It just gives the impression that the wall needs to be, yeah, supported. Which, obviously, these walls do because they're completely falling apart. Um, I'm quite pleased with how the door worked as well. Prepare yourselves, because I was legitimately actually surprised. I assumed this is one of the situations where I'm like... Maybe should have put that in first, but actually putting it in the time I did worked really well, so it's grand. So I use these ones. Now these ones, um, some people don't realise this, but you can't actually use the rug glitch on these at all. They don't, because they have something snap to them, like the doorways basically. You can't actually rug glitch these in. They don't snap to the other junk fences, but they can't, but they can be concrete pillared in. And they've got a really generous clipping, as you can see. Like they're pretty nice. Um, and again, I put them in reverse because I just like the way it looks. Um, so I just pop that in right there. I can snap a door in. The door opens out, I believe. This is where I'm doing this. And I'm just like, you, you, you can hear me. I don't know if you... This is where I'm, where I'm doing this right now. Because obviously, I'm, this is pre-recorded. I'm just going, suits you, sir. Suits you. Suits you constantly to myself. Because it just suited you, sir. And it worked. That is Harry Enfield um, from Britain, by the way. If you were alive in Britain in the 90s, you found that hilarious... Or at least elicited, elicited a guffaw. Um, <laughs> so we're just basically just adding detail right now. Um, now, initially I was going to put this junk fence in here. Um, I actually, and you'll see in a second, I just rug glitch, um, pillar glitch rather, one of the walls in just because of the fact that I want, I knew I wanted this against it. Just kind of add a little bit more detail and hide a little bit the crappiness of the side of the walls. However, um, it is obviously a little bit low and you can see the gap. So just... Again, th this is this worked really well. Um, 
to be honest, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised with these warehouse pieces and also I just think the general changes of the collision since I last did this. Um, this was so much, this was all first time when I'm doing this. Like I had, I knew I was planning it at work today, I was how I was going to show you guys how to do it, but I wasn't 100% sure it would actually work and I, I thought maybe, because I wanted something simple, but was this, you're going to be able to replicate this and I'd be very surprised if you can't, um, I, don't, I don't know how you would not be able to do it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's all grand. So there we go. All grand. And here's the tour. Um, as you can see, everything looks pretty swift. I've had a little bit of detail at the top, um, but generally it's pretty, um, just pretty nice. Um, as always, follow on Twitter, at no response. I will have a new video up um, over the weekend. Until then, you guys take care.